The development of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft EVTOL, commonly referred to as flying taxis by aviation pioneers, will be a game-changing endeavor in 2018. In order to start commercial production and open the door to the first passenger services, several companies are expecting that their craft will receive the required certification in 2023. To know more about the first air taxi flight around New York City, just continue watching the video until the end. And for more interesting content like this, subscribe to our channel Electrify. Less than six people may typically be accommodated in an air taxi. Like hovering drones, they use a number of tiny rotors to land and take off vertically. They can easily fly autonomously and are easier to fly than helicopters because of smart software regulating the rotors. Because there are so many rotors, the aircraft can keep flying even if one or more fail. This increases safety. The historic test flight took place at the Westchester County Airport in White Plains in New York, so if you're traveling through New York City, keep an eye out for the flying electric air taxis or EV tolls. In order to make it a reality, Beta Technologies, an electric aviation and aerospace manufacturer located in Vermont, collaborated with Blade Air Mobility, a company that offers affordable air transportation options in some of the world's most crowded regions, including the US, EU, Canada, and India. Three years have been spent developing Beta's air taxi, the Alia 250 EVA, which was inspired by the Arctic Tern's form. Turns move farther than any other bird, stopping at every continent, which motivated the firm to develop the most effective flying technique. There are two versions of the Alia 250 EVA, one designed for people and the other for freight. The distributed direct drive electric propulsion of the EV toll has a range of 250 nautical miles and a charging period of 50 minutes. The passenger seating is swapped out for 200 cubic feet of cargo capacity in the cargo variant, which has the same specifications. In April 2021, Blade originally announced that it would buy up to 20 of Beta's first Alia 250 passenger EV tolls with the intent of using them on American routes. In order to facilitate the changeover, the firm will also put in place the required charging infrastructure. An important turning point for the Alliance and environmentally friendly air travel is the electric air taxi demonstration in New York City. US Army and Air Force test pilots have previously flown the Alia 250 in full pattern assessments under the supervision of Beta. Blade and Joby Aviation, two aviation industry titans, have flown in the air together. Their goal is to revolutionize air travel by producing commercially viable flying taxis that can soar like helicopters and fly like planes. In the future, not only for him but his whole business, Rob Weissenthal has great expectations that this will be the staple. Blade also connects travelers with vacation locations, such as journeys to JFK Airport from Manhattan, in addition to developing these wonderful new airborne possibilities for meeting customers from one side of town to the other without experiencing severe traffic delays. Also, it organizes air transport for organ transplants. For over three years, the Alia 250 EVA at Beta Air Taxi has been in development. The design of the Arctic Turn was a design influence. The Beta team was motivated to develop the most effective flying technique for passengers to journey anywhere because turns travel farther than any other species of bird, stopping at every part of the planet. There are two variations of the air taxi. One is for carrying goods and the other is for carrying passengers. With its ambition to fly 20 cutting-edge electrical vertical takeoff and landing or EV toll aircraft over the US lines, Blade is ushering in the future of urban mobility. In New York trading, shares of Blade, a blank check firm merger that became publicly traded in 2021, increased 13% to $4.88. After a spike in complaints about New York City helicopters during the epidemic, the test flight was finally completed. Because the noise footprint is so much more tolerable, Weissenthal predicted that the public would be more tolerant. The Alia 250 sound is far quieter than that of a typical flight. It has six seats, an electric propulsion system, and, according to firms, produces noise at a decibel level that is one-tenth that of a conventional helicopter. But Blade and Beta must first obtain governmental clearances and set up a charging and loading infrastructure in order for the fantasy to become a reality. However, they face a number of rivals with comparable goals after a flurry of new businesses, including Joby Aviation Incorporated, Vertical Aerospace Limited, and Archer Aviation Incorporated, secured money through SPAC mergers in recent years. 
Although Blade hopes to have the EV toll aircraft taking passengers by 2026, Beta aims to obtain FAA clearance in 2024. At first, the businesses wanted to utilize rolling trucks to charge the cars, but Blade's already existing helicopter service gave them an advantage over their competitors. Before the air taxis take off, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever a new video is posted, and do give this video a big fat thumbs up. According to reports, Blade plans to buy up to 20 air taxis and use them on various routes around the nation. The business will set up the necessary charging infrastructure in addition to the EV toll. The latest in major airlines' planned attempts to provide more environmentally friendly travel options is a shift towards electric flight travel. The purchase of 100 zero-emission 19-seat electrical aircraft by Sweden's Hart Aerospace, which would be used for brief domestic flights by 2026, was also announced by United in 2021. Hawaiian Airlines announced a cooperation with Regional Electric Effect Nautical Transportation in Boston in May of 2022 in order to start utilizing electric sea gliders in its inter-island fleet as early as 2028. All of the major US airlines pledged last year to work towards a 2050 target of net zero carbon emissions. When fully operational, electric air taxis would fundamentally alter how United passengers experience comfort, convenience, and efficiency throughout their trips to the airport, according to Michael Leskinen, president of the United Airlines Ventures, the company's corporate venture fund established to aid in the airline's goal of achieving net zero emissions by 2050. Archer's New York to Newark route represents another critical benchmark towards offering a safe and carbon-neutral commute that significantly lowers travel time and emits a small fraction of the noise produced by helicopters. Leskinen stated in the news statement, United has made early investments in a number of cutting-edge technologies at all levels of the supply chain, establishing our place as a pioneer in aviation sustainability and innovation. Our deal with EVE demonstrates our trust in the urban air mobility industry and provides another crucial checkpoint on the way to our objective of achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050, without the need for conventional offsets. Together, we think that our collection of clean energy technologies will transform air travel as we know it and help the aviation sector transition to a more sustainable future. The United Archer Agreement is the second collaboration between a significant airline and an electric aircraft manufacturer to be announced this year to provide an electric air taxi service. A partnership between Delta and Joby, a different manufacturer of all electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, was also announced. Their program will initially be made available in New York City and Los Angeles when it launches in 2024. It hasn't been disclosed where clients would be picked up or which airports would be accessible as destinations. The first team to offer more distant pickup and drop-off locations is United, followed by Archer. United sees a lot of potential in the market for electric air taxis. In order to purchase 200 of EVE Air Mobility's four-seat electrical aircraft, which will also be utilized for an air taxi service, the airline invested in this company. The latest in a series of planned initiatives by major airlines to provide more environmentally friendly travel options is a shift to electric air travel. United also said in 2021 that it will purchase 100 electric 19-seat Hart Aerospace aircraft from Sweden for use on brief domestic trips by 2026. Hawaiian Airlines announced a cooperation with Regional Electric Effect Nautical Transportation in Boston in May of 2022 in order to start utilizing electric sea gliders in its inter-island fleet as early as 2028. And that will be all for today's video. If you liked the video, then please give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications and also express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for joining and until next time, goodbye.